Welcome back to another episode. I had an absolute blast this weekend. So I'm shooting this intro a couple days after some of this stuff has happened. But that's uh, that's what happens when you get a little bit lazy because you're not catching fish every time you go out. So anyway, full disclosure, I don't catch fish every single time that I go fishing. I would love to say that I do. I am in fact a very avid fisherman. I've been fishing, fly fishing since I was eight years old done all sorts of different styles of fishing but fly fishing is where my heart is so I've probably gone out six or seven times over the last couple weekends and been either skunked or the fish were just a little too small to make a video out of um, but I've had some success over the last little while so I knocked off a species on my species list I've caught lots of west slope cutthroats, but I never caught coastal cutthroat, let alone a coastal cutthroat that was a sea run cutthroat, which is super cool. They get pretty big, good fights, and uh, beautiful, beautiful fish, especially with the fall colors. So, that one got knocked off of my bucket list. I got two of them in one day, which was epic. You guys will see all of that if you watch the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you, uh, you know, like and subscribe. It helps our channel. I can get out and get more camera gear and more cool angles. Eventually, I want to get a drone so that we get those really nice, cool aerial shots. Anyhow, I'll see you guys after the video. Had a fish rise over here to something. Oh, it's a salmon. Okay, you guys, so we found the salmon. You've been to this spot before, but just up there is where I crawl down that, uh, that cliff. So we parked at a different spot this time and the salmon are at my spot. So Rob is just pitching in here now because we're downstream of the salmon and they're all spawning up there. So hopefully the trout down here are gorging on eggs. We're gonna find out soon enough. And thanks for joining us on the journey. See you in a bit. Okay, well I got a salmon on. Um, I don't really want it on. Cause we're fishing for cutthroat trout. But I've got a fish, so. Um, I'm gonna try and get this guy in so I can let him go But it's pretty big and it, it'll probably break off before I even get it in It's fighting pretty hard But thankfully it's not a foul hooked fish. It just took the egg Holy cow, man. This, uh, this is a strong fish. 
on my six weight. He's trying to go upstream. So, or is he wrapped up? I think it is foul hooked. Shit. Alright. Oh, and he broke off. That's a good fish though. <laughs> that was pretty big. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another fishing video. So today I'm on a spot that I know that uh, the coastal cutthroat are kind of hanging out in. They tend to hang out behind the salmon. So if you find the salmon, the trout are gorging on salmon eggs behind them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fish light tackle. I've got my, my six weight temple fork. I'm going to use an indicator rig. It might do some check nymphing. Um, but yeah, the, the goal is to get some coastal cutthroat. So I'm going to get changed because I'm in this attire and we're going to get fishing. All right, all geared up, ready to do some fishing. I've seen a few salmon here. You guys have seen this spot before. I've been here. This is back when the, the pinks were doing their thing so um, I've seen a couple fish so I know that there's something in here I'm really hoping like I said to catch coastal cutties so my setup today TFO I've got this little egg pattern on and I've got my indicator up here so Anyway, we're going to pitch it in. We're just going to see what happens. Hopefully we get something today, and if we do, then you guys get to watch it. So, we'll see you in a bit. Finally, we have a coastal cutthroat. I got him nice on the egg, on this little sweet seam here. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this moment for a while. So, let's just get him up onto the reel here. Bam! I can't believe it. I've been like ready to go all day and I definitely had a couple bites there and I just knew it so let's uh, let's catch this guy have a nice look at him oh beautiful got it that was what I was hoping for okay let's keep him in the water oh look at that beautiful beautiful fish right on the egg Look at the colors. Look at the colors on this thing. That. Beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. How's that? Nice. See the slashes under the throat? Beautiful. Haha, we got one. We got one. That was what we've been trying to do for a while here. And uh, I had a couple bites previous to that, so we're going to give it a shot again. Okay, so I've given this stretch a rest for a couple minutes, and we're going to try fishing this run again and just see what happens because I know that there's at least one cutty in here, and I've had a couple bites, so hopefully we can get into somebody else but we will find out shortly. It's... Uh, nope, that's bottom. Damn. Not what I was trying to do there, but it went down right away, so I thought it was a fish. It wasn't. But it is pretty shallow, so I'm just trying to keep aware of that. Right? I'm on bottom again. So, that means I'm not pitching it in like I should shorten the, the leash on this. 
probably, but let's just see what happens here. Okay, nothing there. Another one. Got another one. Nice. Let's get it up onto the reel. This is the spot, you guys. This is the spot for the Sea Run Cutties. And they're just so fat, they're just gorging themselves on these, these eggs. And you're nabbed. Beautiful. Dude, I am so excited about this. Hopefully you guys can see that well. Barbless hooks come out right away. Nope. Not getting away from me that easy fish. that just beautiful beautiful colors nice right awesome and that's two so stoked you guys that's the video guys so stoked that you guys watched if you made it all the way to the end I'm thankful for you I'm going to try and get out and do a whole bunch more fishing content. Right now, the rains have come in, the steelhead are in the rivers, the salmon ban has been lifted as far as I know so we can go back to catching salmon. Not that we want to, they're all pretty gross and rotten at this point, but steelhead's a big one. Love me some coastal cutthroat, rainbows, all kinds of stuff to fish, as well as winter chinook fishing on the ocean. I'll be doing that with Tim. We got a whole pile of GoPros set up on the boat now. We decided not to winterize Captain Hook this year. So we will be going out prawning, crabbing, fishing, all of that jazz. There'll be more fly fishing content as well. So if you like the video, if you like what you've seen, tune in. I'll be posting this stuff all the time. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.